Well, Nikki, the honor flight is a way to gain camaraderie and see so many important memorials in Washington, D.C. that veterans wouldn't necessarily get to see otherwise. The veteran I spoke with has waited two years, but is optimistic about the future of the flights, but it hasn't been an easy past two years. Here's more. In the past two years, 21 memorial flights to D.C. have been canceled in central Illinois. One veteran on the wait list tells me his reaction to these cancellations. I figured it, that uh, probably that uh, it would happen sometime, hopefully, <laughs> uh, where I would, you know, still be, still be able to do it. That's Gene, a Decatur native and Navy vet. He was supposed to go on the last operating flight, but he couldn't make it. I was originally... Uh, scheduled for the flight uh, in September of uh, 2019 and uh, my wife died then and so I, I, uh, I had to cancel that. It's one of the reasons he's still set on going is because she encouraged him to go in the first place. Jean, she says, uh, you served your time. Uh, you ought to uh, be able to go on that. Now, two years later, he still doesn't have a flight date. I, I was anxious to go, <laughs> and I still am. But for some of the veterans that have been on that wait list, it's too late. Um, at the beginning of the flight season last year, we, we had, um, I believe, eight World War II veterans on our list, um, about uh, 40 Korean vets um, on that list. Um, we're down now to two World War II vets because we've just lost everybody uh, in the interim. Gene hopes that as many Main veterans as possible get to experience uh, that flight next year, including himself. I know I've, I've seen uh, uh, some of the pictures of uh, some of the previous honor flights. I think it's really something. And not just for himself, but also as a homage to his wife, Carolyn. We, we've got to get these guys in the air. Now they announced they'll have a no-flight type program showing the sights on a movie instead for those who'd like to experience it now. It's also for those next year who are not well enough to make that physical trip. The first no-flight option will be in October. For now live in the studio, I'll live on News, WANT News.